On April 20th, an explosion ripped through BP Deepwater Horizon drilling rig. And soon, nearly a mile beneath the surface of the ocean, oil began spewing into the water. I assembled a team of our nation's best scientists and engineers to tackle this challenge. And in the coming weeks and days, these efforts should capture up to 90% of the oil leaking out of the well. And we pray that a hand may guide us through the storm towards a brighter day. I thought it was a great speech if you've been on another planet for the last 57 days. But I, I think there was one bit of news there, and I don't know whether it's optimistic beyond belief, which is in the coming days and weeks, these efforts should capture up to 90% of the oil leaking out of the well. Well, that's the first I've heard of that. In coming days, we're going to have this thing capped. We're going to effectively solve the problem. Where did that estimate come from of 90%? Chris made a great point. Where did that estimate come from, and what well, happens to it if it's wrong, like every other estimate and every comes, other statistic is it come, wrong? It, come, it comes from BP. It comes from BP, exactly. Yeah. In exactly. coming days. And, and, and by the way, no. coming days. One piece of information that I'm intrigued about is that some people are telling you that this oil leak spill disaster can't be stopped. Is that right? Yeah, we've been hearing it for quite some time now. Ed. It's well bore casing blowout that's below the subs is below the surface of, of the Gulf. In other words, a thousand feet below there's something going on that's causing a leak. If this is true, we have something that's catastrophic because there's no way to stop the leak. You can't plug up the top of it because if you plug up the top of it, it puts pressure on the bottom and the leak at the bottom becomes worse. Now look, here's the point. BP has known this for quite some time. We look at the you look at the trail on this the first time that they tried the top kill situation they knew that the uh, they knew the pressures weren't right they knew there was too much mud that was leaked from the casings but they knew it even before that they knew that the pressure all they had to do is look at the pressure uh, the, the various pressures at different levels and they found out that there's another leak somewhere else as a matter of fact if you remember Matt Simmons was talking about this weeks ago and everybody thought he was crazy well now he's proven again to be correct Matt Simmons so Mike, you're said, saying Mike, 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 you're, you're, you're saying that this well bore casing is so cracked and so damaged that there's really no way that we're going to be able to get down and stop this un unless there's some re relief well drilling, which could take us to the middle of August, correct? Ed, 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 it's exactly right. Think about this, Ed. Their relief wells are drilling to 10,000 feet. If it was really yeah. a relief well that they weren't concerned about, why are they going to 10,000 feet? You can do a relief well a lot more shallow than that. But the problem is they don't know where the other break is. It could be at 1,000 feet. It could be at 2,000 feet. So they have to drill way, way down and hopefully relieve the pressure down there. This is something the media hasn't talked about. It's something really that uh, BP's not talking about because it's, it's completely consistent with their conduct. That is to, to, to distort the truth as long as you can. But right now, you have credible scientists that are saying, we think that this is what's going on, and we think it has okay. potential to be uh, an, an Armageddon doomsday kind of scenario. In okay. the, it, the government has confirmed that plumes of dispersed oil from BP's leaking well are spreading far beneath the surface in the Gulf of Mexico. The National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration said some of the most toxic components of the oil are not necessarily rising to the surface, but are drifting through deep water in plumes that stretch some 50 miles from the gushing well. Last week, BP CEO Tony Hayward had declared, quote, the oil is on the surface. There aren't any plumes. Mean Good afternoon. So far, these marine scientists have discovered three huge underwater islands of oil particles, some 20 miles long and six miles wide. Let me ask you about these plumes, because there's this growing scientific evidence. We're getting scientific body after scientific body saying these plumes exist. Some of them, as you just heard in our piece, may be miles and miles wide. Last week, your CEO said, we don't think they're there. Does BP really not think those plumes are underwater? Do you not believe well, these Harry, plumes exist? Harry, there are not that we. No one has found any large concentrations of oil beneath the so surface. So these scientists no, are no making it up. So the scientists are making it up. Harry, I think all we can know for certain is what we've measured, and, and what NOAA's measured, and others have measured, and we're talking about parts per million or parts per billion. Uh, right. So far, no one has found any significant concentrations below the surface. And what the Thomas Jefferson found in a week was the most specific information we know 
that basically the uh, 1,100 meters below the surface of the Gulf of Mexico is a 400, three to 400 meter lake of very heavy oil that is spread so fast that it's covering potentially 40% of the Gulf of Mexico. Andrea, we're looking into something new right now, that there's reports of oil that's seeping up from the seabed, which would indicate, if that's true, that the well casing itself is actually pierced underneath the seabed. So, you know, the problems could be just enormous with what we're facing. If it is true that it's coming up from the seabed, then even the relief well won't be the final solution to, to cap this thing. That means that we've got oil gushing up at disparate places along the ocean floor. That is possible unless you get the plug down low enough uh, right. below where the pipe would be breached. Uh, Remember, it was first 1,000 barrels, then it was 5,000, right. then it was 12,000. Now it may be 25,000. As forecast here two weeks ago, evidence now of the possibility that something called an underground blowout might be happening. Oil seeping outside BP's damaged well through the ocean floor. Is it possible there's already been underground blowout or blowouts and uh, BP doesn't know it or isn't telling us? And is there anything that you've seen in terms of what they're doing there that, that makes you believe that's a possibility or is not a possibility? I think they certainly probably, uh, they, they likely had uh, a casing failure mm -hmm. during the, the top kill procedure. Remember, they had 30,000 horsepower pumping mud at about as much as 80 barrels a minute. And that, that kind of casing that's probably already damaged could have certainly failed. What tells me is that, that they have a downhole problem is that they're working to fit uh, a cap that latches onto the top of the blowout preventer mm -hmm. rather than just setting a new blowout preventer. And so that means they can't shut the well in because of pressure buildup. And so they have to keep the well flowing to minimize uh, uh, oil and gas going out into the formation on the side. Well, the, the, the real doomsday scenario here, Keith, is if that casing gives up, and, and it does come through the other strings of pipe, because remember, it's concentric pipe mm -hmm. that holds this well together. If it comes into the formation, basically you've got uncontrolled flow to the seafloor, and that is the doomsday scenario. There's nothing they can do except the relief well, and it could likely flow for some time until they get it killed. I certainly would like uh, BP to just come out and say what they think. Mm. Uh, this uh, subsurface failure uh, that's been talked about several times, I, I, I would believe they need to address to uh, either, either calm those fears and, sh and show that it's not an underground blowout or disclose that they have that problem and uh, help us understand more what's going on.